I'm Kim Vodica. Grew up here in Lafayette and received her BA in English from UL Lafayette last year. She is currently pursuing her MFA in poetry at LSU, where she's a teaching assistant and the co-coordinator of Delta Mouth Literary Festival. She has been published in Shampoo and Eclexographia and has broadsides forthcoming from Last Word Press. Um, along the way, she's been giving fantastic live readings throughout the area, bringing her unique and often discussed nihilistic style. So if you would lift your glass to the awful truth as it's been revealed to the years of youth, Kim Vodica. Hi. I've never read um, in an auditorium before, um, so I don't know what that means to you, but I'm just going to sit here and read about four poems without stopping. This is Estesia uh, Balderdash. Pretense, us lovely, turtle dovely, never the laissez faire, Eve likenesses, hunter gatherers, and avant guardian angels. Leaning into it along all rows which roguely lead us to our Everest, nevertheless to be on the guest lust augustly, in unicorn with St. Elmo's fire in the dry, together frigidaire. Easter eyes where a morphine bath is as put up the shutters to grace as waste is the fashion. Adulterous skulls overwintering in the Hamptons where too much attention was paid to the dust. Neuter sadness, nearly black-boarded. The most likeliest meticulous Camellia Cyrus Azaleus, and the lashes are always hand-given. We would never be guilty of roses or fainting for a kingdom. We were only trying to encourage yellow, a giggle added to the reveille, to breathe in Saturnus and exhale birdfulness, to be barefoot in pageantry in front of the heather. As if that which thou seekest thou findeth was which, as the frilly sigh, twelve hours away from home on hearse back, we too shall die of Virginia. It ripples down to your heart's critter. There is no humorous on the itinerary of bones, the full-blown pathos is in the, for all that I would wildfire. She takes her coffee with a shot of cell phone. She takes tea and the train with equal pertinence. She must be out of her exit sign. She must put the old poet to shame. She burned alive without a secret. She took her panties off and wept. She will skinny and remain unwashed for a month, but I will never walk again. Should our limbs begin to zombie about belly up, no knees for ankles, a hot mess of legs on her speck, a hideous weed, I'd arduously like-like and corrode and Dvorak you. In a world that gives us diseases because of our love, ought to wear more hat. You are more poem than this. Artichokes. Resignedly, I rain sickly choke art. It single handedly, irascibly dolloped atop its haphazardly, admittedly lolly, popped thine own cherries with thine own two tweets, mocking birds who could have never even seen that window coming. They were caught squint eyed in the mirror whilst dolling, whilst doling out reeds to the easterly, meddling, elided, brain sickly, in dim lands of peace. We croak for content, ladling feel like fat scalped off the top. We emit hysterically, daycarely echoing, to sell our feel to the masses, strictly, lackadaisically. We choke on the shrug, deferring daredevilishly, actively scrapping when you depress against me, evoking French parading with nothing to dote on. When petals scan the room, lipped and elatedly, we sop up the dew because hark the angels sung. And I wonder, where have you been all my holy? I saw you there, blind in both blues, tart in your eyes, the one you marry and clog daughterly in a Warren Beatty rape fantasy. I saw you there, standing with a look of everlasting, with five packs of smokes between you and your dream. You had me at everything's coming up roses, as the swan flings lower than lover and the rose arts long as the swan haunts. A pile of myself I pick up and drop till the wretch be the body polite. 
in the days of your, the days of my, the days of never being a lady tonight because all the gentlemen have seen my shut the fuck up Lee, ODing awning Lee, just letting it all go in the nick of untimely, waiting impatiently for this night to do something other than be. I don't want to forget remembering you, I just want you to forget remembering me. One more? Or? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Margot Hemingway, High Priestess of the Avant Garden. And everything's coming up roses, spoiled rotten. Duchamp bags full of the toilet spoiled situations on the path of least resistance and the most cake. Thus spake, whose roses die I in an excess of sameness. She wants you wine soaked a toothless in the morning when most appropriately sponged. I don't want to spread it, but the secrets of the orange lily, how she got so skinny, her Audi looked like an innie. Her first boyfriend she ate over wild rice. She can't keep her bones from growing old, no matter how hard she tries to make light. It's a real crock of bones in here tonight. We have a high level of miracle prevention. It's not that we don't know Jesus, it's just that we don't give a, and by shit I mean fuck yeah. This is my high and milky credo. I feel as though I could smack, but I didn't catch her numb. I saw a daisy hanging out of her score as she shimmied off my psychic crawler, my shapeless chunk of forfeiture. My wayfaring never was nor where the diamond Christmas blown. The space between the thighs where the sun still shone. I must have mystique you for someone else. Even your riddle's petals sometimes get sopped up with the cheap fuck. This is okay. Your impatience grow despite your get together. I don't want to spread it, but the needle vendor, the needling, the needling to death vendor, the dearth cadet. I don't want to spread it, but even heaven is a harlot, narcotic, inhuman in mesmerization, as inoffensive as silence, like the way you call me baby. This is my high and milky credo. It's like a summons stupefaction. You might describe this feeling as being uplifting, like you're being lifted up in a way that actually lasts. Not for the faint of bra unsnap. Kill the doctor, please. I neither want to know what's wrong with us nor with the moon. This cocaine nosebleed goes out to you. Margot Hemingway blossoms not a sweet. We left flowers in the space where her frontal lobe used to be. We felt so important with our underlying things. We were so lonely, though we were we. Thank you. <laughs>